Children in movies are usually terrible, and this isn't the exception. Spoilers ahead. So, Live the World Behind is an apocalyptic movie about a cyber attack that basically renders the entire nation useless, leading to paranoia and chaos. That sounds like a good idea for a movie. And the execution isn't too terrible, on the technical side of things. It's just that, what was the point? The people that made this film have either never heard of the concept of Chekhov's gun, or hated Chekhov. For those who don't know what that film concept is, it means that if a gun is shown, it has to be used, or else it shouldn't be there. And this movie took that concept to the extreme, but went in the wrong direction. They introduced a bunch of things, characters, ideas, theories, all of these that amount to absolutely nothing. The only interesting character here is G.H. And that's because it's the only person who knows something, yet he doesn't say anything. At this point, why would you hide the identity of your client? What's Ethan Hawke going to do? Post it on TikTok? There's no internet, no satellite, everything went down the drain. There's no reason to be protecting anyone's identity at that point. That's for the plot, which there isn't. Character-wise, I appreciate these actors, and they all mostly did a good job. Except Archie and Rose. I'm going to rant about them for a second. In a movie, characters are meant to serve the audience as a portal into the film. We can enter this world only through their eyes. Therefore, they should serve a purpose. Aside from annoying, they don't do anything. The best thing Archie could do for that family was get sick, so they would find out that the neighbor was a prepper and had a bunker under his house. Which is a cool thing to find out. Except Rose, with her annoying obsession with friends, finds the bunker before everyone else. Archie and Rose have got to be in my top 10 most annoying characters from a movie. All this deal about the animals and the deer seems like they are trying to imply that it's something deeper than they actually care to explain. It seems unnecessary. I don't have anything against the kids as their actors, you know, as, as the, the human being in the world, but god are they bad in this movie. It's mostly the fault of the writer though, or writers. Again, whatever happened to Chekhov's gun? This movie is a masterclass on how not to introduce elements in a movie. So yeah, the kids are redundant at best. It's fine to show them in order to tell the audience that they are parents and that they care about someone, but their presence should have been minimal. I think what bothers me more about this movie is that it feels like it could have been good. The idea is very interesting, the execution, like the cinematography and all of that, is fine, but the script needed a lot more work. It almost felt like the first episode of a TV series in which they will address all of these points they raised throughout the film eventually. There was a lot of fuss in the news about this movie simply because the Obamas are credited as executive producers, which does feel kind of creepy considering what the movie is saying and how it's saying it, if anything. I'm not sure how much involvement they had during the production, but it does feel like jet fuel for conspiracy theories. Overall, Leave the World Behind is one of those movies that probably had a killer pitch, but the movie itself fell very short from whatever they intended. Unfortunately, it ended up amounting to a big pile of nothing. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.